Yo, Trey T, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Did Bob Mortimer break into the local witch's garden in his youth? Would I lie to you just from reading the title? <laughs> I believe Bob did. <laughs> it was in his youth. It was. It, I believe he did. But before we dive into this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Uh, you guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Who we got, Bob? Uh, Bob, you're next. On a dark winter's night, I once broke into the garden of the local witch's house and was shocked by what I found there. <laughs> He's telling the truth. He's telling me. Hey, I just know Bob, bro. Uh, and mostly when you guess in Bob Mortimer, bro, guess true. That That's also a rule of Bob. Guess truth. He, he doesn't tell a whole lot of lies in the clips that I've seen. ...house and was shocked by what I found there. <laughs> David C. Okay, uh, uh, how, uh, at what point... There's a lot of questions, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> at what point in your life did this happen? I'm going to guess somewhere between when I was 11 and 13. It's 12. True. <laughs> <laughs> and you say the local witch's house, what do you mean by that? Um, I mean, this is a, a very distant memory now. <laughs> okay. It was the house not very far from me. Where everyone, all the kids said that the witch lived. And who did it, live okay. there? Um, I don't know their name. Right. I'll call them Mary Candles. <laughs> <laughs> so it, had, it had hedges at the front, you know, with like uncut hedges, a front, uh, a, a front gate covered with hedging. And it said on the, on the front gate, it said simply the words, no thanks. No. Oh, really? So that's quite creepy, isn't it? Can I ask a question? Yeah. You're, you started that with saying you were shocked by what you saw there. Yeah. Yes. What did I, you yes. <laughs> there. So what did you find there? I'm not comfortable with telling you that just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not. This is going to go I'm not comfortable with telling you that just yet. I got to figure it out in my head before I can say it. <laughs> This is going so far, it's got to be a lie, isn't it? Let me just say, it does not have to be a lie. <laughs> says, however I swear. absurd, it could still be true. Yes. However plausible, it could still be a lie. <laughs> Essentially, what we are doing for this section is entirely futile. <laughs> We will talk for a bit, then we will guess, then we'll and guess. then it will be over. <laughs> Bro, David broke it down literally so perfectly. That's when well, you're trying to guess with Bob, that's what it is. What he's saying could absolutely be true. And whatever he says that seems absolutely plausible could definitely be a lie. He said, what we're doing is futile. Like, if it, this this section, this part makes no difference between him reading the card and us guessing. We're, it's a guess. It's a shot in the dark with Bob. Then we'll and then it will be over. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you come to, to go into this house? Who were you with? I was with, um, what was he called? I was with Ken, Ken Numbers. <laughs> Ronnie yeah, yeah. Calculator's son. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe is it's very unkempt, it's the gardening, because as we all know, Lee, yeah, witches hate gardening, yeah. and wizards <laughs> hate plumbing. Right. So, so we knew it was a female resident. Right. right. Um, so you've never seen Mary Candles, <laughs> so you're only speculating it must be a witch rather than a wizard because it was an unkempt garden, unkempt garden. with no sign of deficient plumbing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, you know, we wanted to be the first people said, no, we penetrated, you know, its boundaries. Yeah. We, we went um, into the front <laughs> lawn, down a, a, a gate to the side, past the bins, past the back door, yeah? And yeah. then to the window where um, there was a light on, a big picture window, looked inside, and that's when we saw this extraordinary sight. Well, extraordinary to us as 12 what was it? What was it? You've got to say. It was. <laughs> a tiny, <laughs> tiny horse. 
and the tele I'm not saying it was watching television, that was all that was in the room. It was a tiny horse and a television on. <laughs> House. You got in the house. Yes, Mrs. <laughs> we're not we're not I'm not saying it was watching television, but there was a horse and the television was on. Hey, do what you want with that information. Do what you will. I'm just giving you the info. <laughs> I didn't get in the house. You got in the house. Yes, Mrs. Candles came out. Right. Yes, and she said to me, You're one of the Mortimer boys, aren't you? <laughs> Were you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and she said, would you like to come in and see the horse? <gasps> and she took us in and it stank of paraffin. It was hot. That's horse? Hot, hot, hot. No, that, well, the house. The oh, horse, I don't know, the horse stunk the of paraffin. The horse did stink, actually. Did he? Yeah. Of? Meat, hot meat. <laughs> As we were looking at the horse, I always remember this, she came in and she had a toilet seat in her hand. <laughs> and she said, if I gave you some money, do you think you could get rid of this for me? <laughs> What did you do with it? Mm -hmm. Just threw it in on our way home, just threw it somewhere else, I, I, I imagined. <laughs> did she say what the horse's name was? Max. Max? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. You'd have thought minimum. You would have thought minimum. What are you thinking about this? It's true. It's gotta be true. It's Bob, bro. It's Bob Mortimer, so I... It's gotta be true. And I can see sneaking into the local witch's garden. She probably knows she has that reputation. She opens the door. You're one of the Mortimer boys, aren't you? Because it sounds like Bob got into a lot of things in his youth. Sounds like Bob got into a lot of a lot of trouble in his youth. Uh, and so she knew. You're one of the Mortimer boys. Y'all always getting into trouble. Always getting into stuff. You want to come in and see the horse? That sounds That sounds true. <laughs> Sons, what, what are you thinking about this? I mean, you know, it, it's so preposterous, but David's flung me by saying this is the way he carries on anyway. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I mean, but no, I'm saying lie, of course. You say it's he gets a lie. lie. It was when you said <laughs> the horse smelt like hot meat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you remember the detail of the paraffin heaters? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. We're talking 40, maybe 50 degrees there with those old... Um... 40 or 50 degrees <laughs> centigrade. So we're talking like the temperature of the desert in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Candles again. No, never. Never saw her again. Never saw her again. She probably melted in that heat. <laughs> <laughs> Do we think lie? I think it's a lie. I, I think it's lie. true. I think it is true. a lie. All right. No, You're saying it's, it's a lie. Now, we should bear in mind that it's when it comes true. to Bob, David has a very poor track record. <laughs> Let's see if he can true. be better tonight. Yeah. Bob, truth or lie? I was telling the truth. No! It's Bob. You got to know. You got to know it, Bob. It's true. Bob really did break into a creepy gun. Yes. That title just local witches guard in his youth. Uh, I mean, when you put the, the details together with Bob Mortimer, it seems plausible to me. Twelve year old, of course, all the kids around the neighborhood. Oh, it's a, it's a, she's a witch. She's a witch. Sounds like a bunch of twelve year olds. That sounds true. Bob seems like he gets into a lot of things in his youth. It seems like he would be the one who would want to break into the local witch's garden. Uh, <laughs> but then, they, I mean, of course, it's just a woman that lives there and she invites him in. That that sounds, she probably knows she has a reputation as a witch, wants to be nice. Mm, you're one of the Mortimer boys. Obviously, she knows he gets into trouble. I don't know. You just put these together and it's true. And it, but, but I will say, like with what David said uh, with Bob Mortimer, you're really just throwing a shot in the dark, man. You're, you're just guessing and praying. Uh, but I, I love the story. That's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Uh, it's your boy, Dino. Out.